are not easy to find now i did minecraft things and i i swear half of those videos would turn into random rant videos <laughs> neo hear me out like what what pisses you off about uh about the overwatch 2 stuff all the uh pv cancellations and everything there's got to be some good good neo takes mm. there mm. what is it come on let's hear it uh well you know i uh Blizzard is a little big dumb uh, because they want money. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong. I, I get why companies want like, money. Mm -hmm. That's that's their job. I don't necessarily like it. But you know what? That's a political rant that I don't want to do. But uh, when it comes to the good old Blizzard team, you know, maybe if your team isn't big enough to handle two games at once, maybe Blizzard should give them more assets thoughts it's just more money just just here take our vacation homes take our giant yes. raises and make video games with yes. raises instead of vacation homes and olympic size swimming yes. pools yes yeah <laughs> it's because think about how much other money they could make imagine because here's the thing Yes, it would be like a one-time payment or something for like the big overall, like, you know, the whole story mode. But think about this. They could do story mode DLCs that come out with seasons. Think about how much money that could make for them. Yeah, but they could think. make more money not doing that and reselling the game to true. a whole new market that has never played Overwatch before. It doesn't know what a good Overwatch looks like. That is true, although the problem is we're we're back to reaching Overwatch 1 numbers, and uh, uh, I'm going to have my flats take on this. We, we've gotten more, I'll admit, we've gotten more content than we have in, like, years. Like, that, n no one can really disagree with have that. Have we I'm really? Praising, no, but I, what I mean is heroes, maps, you know, the thing that Re really? they said. They were going to do anyways in Overwatch 1? Yep, but guess what? They uh, didn't. Uh, because they immediately gave up on Overwatch 1, uh, because they immediately were like, where's the Aaron blog post? Where's the... I, I'm digging deep. Because here we are. We're down uh, a player. Uh, usually video games upgrade their scale, not downgrade their scale. And... Uh, Hope. And we are down an entire game mode, which, <laughs> you know. We're down a game mode. We're down the LFG. We're down. We're... I mean, let's be honest. The replay viewer wasn't working or wasn't was here forever. recently. I love how they announced, too. They're like, we're releasing workshop stuff. This better be damn good workshop stuff. Like, I, I have... They haven't released any content, Neo. We've been gaslit. That, that, that is true. Uh, I think the only, like, I'll, I'll put it this way. The only, in quote, new hero I can even think of is theoretically Ram. And that's not saying much. I like Ram as a character, but it it's one thing. We're mad. Like they've had, and yeah. for all we know, he's been in the work. Like, the only reason I say... Because Life Weaver, it's a new hero, but Life Weaver, if you notice his kit, want to know what happened when I looked at his kit? I went, wow, this could be great for PvE. Guess what? Uh-oh. Yeah. None of that. So now they rework him, which, which let's be honest, if they were reworking him... We're probably not going to get a hero for a very long time. I, I don't understand why they're reworking him. Like, usually what happens is Blizzard releases a hero and goes, good luck, you guys deal with it. And I think that's probably the way it should be. Like, he is, yeah. he feels like he should be too powerful, but he's not too powerful. He's super weak. But is he weak because, people, because he's weak? Or is he weak because people don't know how to play him? Or, like, I, I think don't know. it's... I think the issue is that even I feel like obviously we don't know how the designers were like using the heroes, which is which is kind of what 
frustrates me is because that's what I want to see. You know, like how they were um, testing if heroes, like if the hero worked or not. Um, because I'm like, Life Weaver can have a lot of viability. The problem is, at the same time that he gives you a lot, there's he also gives your team lots of fucking holes in it. Like at the same time, and I, I'm like, it's not even like Zen where it's a glass cannon. It's just glass. I do also want to point out that with Life Weaver, I think we are at where Overwatch Two should have been with hero releases, right? Yeah. Like when Overwatch Two I would was have released. More, but yeah, when Overwatch Two was released, there should have been all of these heroes. The, yeah. the, there's no reason like i i don't care if they're slightly out of like i'm unbalanced i don't care if they're yeah. a little bit broken like when they released overwatch 2 and you cannot tell me that they didn't have most of these heroes already built functionally for the game like the developers probably have heroes years in advance set out and of course these things are going to change but the abilities and the way these things work like i've even come up with new "Quote unquote heroes in the workshop, right? It's yeah. just they—they probably done the same thing, and I just—I—I I, I don't. I am so disappointed by the game. I am like, I even miss this. I'm gonna say it again. I miss six v six. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like a a part of me does appreciate the five v five, but. As a tank player, I don't think I have to explain why I miss 6v6 at the same time. Because I'm like... I I'm lucky in the fact that I'm like extremely flexible on tanks, but outside of that, I'm like, if I wasn't, I probably would have quit by now. Just because it's like all of my heroes... Like, okay, Winston can be good, but the frustration is didn't they tell us that in Overwatch 2 it wouldn't be so focused on counterpicking? When all it is is counterpicking right now? Well, all well, it I, is. I, I, dude, so... Especially if you're on tank. I Like, on DPS and support, you can kind of get away with it a little more. But tanks, no. Can I point out... Because there's, like, one of us. The only reason why we had to remove the second tank is because the developers were not creative enough to come up with a solution for double shields. And <laughs> here's the thing, Neo. I can actively come up with three or four hard, hard counters for shields right off the top of my head. Like, number uh, one, something idea. that blows holes into shields. Why? Because if you're Reinhardt, you drop your shield, you bring your shield back up, yeah. it's refreshed. But if you're running Orisa, old Orisa, where you drop your shield and someone blows a hole in it, you have a permanent yeah. hole in your permanent shield, right? Or if it's Rhine and it's like you have to not like disengage your shield for like say a second it, or a little longer than that. Exactly. If it's if it's Sigma, he has to drop his shield and put it up again. Same yeah. thing. Okay, here's another counter. Why not have something that makes a shield that flips the team that the shield belongs to, right? So, mm -hmm. ah, there we go, right? Genji so, deflects the shields. So, well, some some kind of support ability, I think, would be really no, nice. No, I know. I just that... imagined Genji walking forward, pressing E on shields. <laughs> and just laughing in my head. I'm but, like, please, I want. But, like, if your team started stacking shields, then suddenly the enemy could pick this counter shield hero and you would now, like, be working against yourself. But they couldn't they couldn't figure that out for some stupid reason. And now we lost a character because they don't want to design for it. Like, Overwatch 2, especially, we've done this, we've done kind of experiments with this, but not with 7v7. Overwatch 2, I think when they try, or sorry, sorry with Overwatch 1... When they originally built the game, they did 5v5 and they tried 7v7, right? Well, mm -hmm. 6v6 is right in the middle of yeah. extremely chaotic, but well-controlled enough that you feel like you're a part of a team. You start mm -hmm. taking that away, and all the pressure starts to be put on, well, the tank. And I'm going to even argue, too, that tanks don't need, uh, don't need the health that they have. Tanks don't need to be... Yeah super powered characters if you take a look at any other game a tank is just somebody with like a little bit of body armor or a, yeah. a, a riot shield is a tank with you all the regular internals of your average person and now people like, people complain oh, too that like oh, I just, I just, people complain too that like they're like oh but overwatch needs big health pools 
but I don't think that matters because if you lower the health pool, it, it people doesn't. still tr people still try and survive. So the fights last just as long because people are still trying to survive, and they they're just more careful. It, it just, I just, I'm like, Ugh! no, I get it. Like Overwatch One, when it came to tanks HP, I I was more mixed on because my thing was I'm like, at least with six v six, let's be honest, it was much easier to burn down a tank, which is like, good. Which is why I'm like, I now don't get me wrong. If no matter how they were going to shift into there being one tank, the tanks were going to have to get some sort of rework entirely. Yes. Because Absolutely. otherwise, you're taking all these tanks that are built to play with other tanks and throwing them in games where I'm like, I think, honestly, I, w I was worried when they announced 5v5 because I was like, okay, I can see maybe two tanks, maybe three tanks being, like, good if they didn't change anything, which would be, like, Ryan Sig, Monkey, but Monkey, Monkey can be swapped out with Ball as well just because they could live. Outside of that, I'm like, and Ryan living is, you know, its own thing, but if you're... A smart Ryan, you can live through a lot of things you shouldn't. Oh, uh, it's so. I, it's just not necessary. It's. Yeah. I I just don't. I, I the way the, the design the thing is people too are like oh we gotta buff tanks because you make up for an extra tank I'm like but if the game was released originally five v five you don't need to make up for an extra tank that didn't exist in the first place and then and you, like in six v six the reason why you could have tanks like that were nerfed in in their overall utility or their overall damage was because they had like so much sustain right they were like yeah. sustained th things entities you don't need to give them all these extra tools it's just like they were very simple very straightforward there's no i i don't know how to put it but like once you if, if you just let them run rampant with all these extra abilities and just keep buffing them for no reason yeah. you're making up for something that's not there like there there's no there's no need there's just oh there's just so many choices that are so fucking terrible with this game but, no i agree but i i think everybody's i don't know i i, I did joke but it's like yeah okay. blizzard's just gonna abandon the original market and they're like well we can just resell the game to a whole bunch of new people and not have to worry about our old hardcore community because i do think i'm gonna argue too i do think the uh the pro league um and the higher elo like top 500 players um mm -hmm. they're terrible at game design uh yeah. like the the way that a lot of them would have designed the game would have killed the game financially the average player mm -hmm. would never want to play the game um and that's a very general criticism i'd like i could bring up very specific things but i'm not gonna run it's just like yeah it, it's it it's so hard to i'm gonna say it's easy to balance but there's just been so many mistakes just too many mistakes at this point and i'm gonna keep playing the game because i'm a fucking addict and <laughs> i you know like i we've we've been fucking mixed scammed we've exactly we've been given our fix we've been given we've our been fucking we've, mixed and then our dealer has went out and swapped out our uh, our heroin for something a little bit more diluted, and we want to buy more. You know, I'm not gonna spend more money. Maybe I might buy the fucking heroes just to get over whatever issue. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna play forever just to play a hero. But yeah. other than that, Blizzard, sorry guys, I'm I'm clocked out mentally, but I'm still run like again. I'm still, I still run the community stuff because I love. The fucking oh, game yeah. but i i the 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 platform itself is just it's just trash i'm just disappointed oh that's not even up to debate in my mind all right well neo thank you for coming on this episode of scrubcast if you could listen this long of course subscribe <laughs> uh, you, you, i, I uh, neo didn't yeah, really started he probably is the... Pro they haven't even started hearing the neo takes yet so. you probably assumed but i've uh yeah of course i dropped it on him started started recording uh and... because i wanted to i wanted to hear the neo rant and uh <laughs> yeah look i'll link the video when i get the neo rant well up. So there can I, be i might be working on it right now there can as we speak there, there will definitely apparently there'll be a few more neo rants hopefully we have 
Neo channel coming up pretty soon, right? Maybe. I, oh, I'm probably sorry. my first video is probably going to be ranting about Vegas Eternal, but you know. All right. Well, other than that, <laughs> GG's like, subscribe. See you guys later.